Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're good. It's a Monday, we're back on that Monday grind and I'm feeling pretty heavy to be honest. So I weigh 105 kg because yesterday I did a street food challenge. Now, if you don't already know, uh, I live in Bali and I've never eaten street food before. So yesterday for a video, we decided to do um, just eat street food the whole day. That was the only rule, is we could only eat street food. So I ate loads of stuff that I wouldn't normally eat, quite a lot of fried foods. And I just woke up this morning, obviously feeling heavy, but also like a little bit of brain fog because I'm just eating foods that I'm not used to and just foods which are a little bit more highly inflammatory. Now, I feel okay now, but I don't feel like I normally feel, if that makes sense. I just feel like I have a little bit less energy uh, but this morning, I really didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to get out of bed. Uh, my joints were hurting a bit and I was just less motivated to work out. And even now, to be honest, I'm not as motivated to work out as I normally am. And that is something that's massively overlooked is like a lot of people, they really don't have a lot of energy. So even just the thought of working out and going to the gym is not enjoyable, but if you eat the right foods, you should want to do some form of exercise. Like we're not designed to be sat in an office, sat on the sofa or sat in the car all day. Like it, it should feel quite unnatural. And like when my diet is good, like most of the time, I actually want to do some form of exercise. You know, I actually want to move my body. I just don't feel satisfied not doing any kind of movement throughout the day. So if you're in a situation right now where just exercise and just movement feels like a chore and it's not something you wanna do, maybe it's because you're eating the wrong foods. Like the foods that you eat drastically affect your energy levels, but also your motivation to train as well. So I am very glad that that challenge is over. Although it was, it was enjoyable and it was a lot better than it thought it was gonna be and I haven't got ill, touch wood. Um, seems like everything's fine. There's no barley belly, anything like that. Um, it has taken me a, quite a step back. It was my birthday the day before as well. So I've had two days where I've kind of gone over on my uh, calories. So uh, although this is barley shreds, I've actually gained weight, but I think that weight's gonna fall off pretty quick. So no problems. We're getting back on track. And yeah, today the plan is chest. It's Monday, it's International Chest Day. It'd be rude not to train anything else. All right, guys, it is International Chest Day. Once again, I'm definitely not skipping International Chest Day, but this is a special one because it's gonna be powered by Indonesian street food. Okay, so I just warm up on incline press as usual. I'm going to take it easy today. I know I always say this, but I'm definitely going to take it easy today because uh, I just have a little bit more pain all over, probably because of some of the food from yesterday. You know, a lot of it is fried, almost no protein whatsoever and it just feels like my body is like a little bit more inflamed than normal. Um, so I'd be at a higher risk of injury, especially if I was trying to push numbers quite hard. So I'm gonna keep it quite sensible today. Yesterday, the, the, the street food was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I was actually, you know, the first couple of meals, I was, I was very nervous, to be honest, but it tasted pretty good. Obviously the macros are off. It's not the healthiest food, <laughs> but taste wise, it was okay. <clears throat> yeah, we can go a bit heavier than that. Definitely. So one interesting observation I've had after eating the street food is weirdly, I feel more connected to the locals. Obviously I've lived in Bali for like four years. I've not tried much Indonesian food at all, apart from a few times when I'm at like a really like high-end restaurant. 
I'll have some of the Indonesian dishes on there, the ones which have had more protein in. But that's only been like two or three times the whole time I've been here. But now that I've experienced a lot more of the Indonesian cuisine, weirdly, I feel like more connected to them or I feel like there's less of a, less of a barrier, which I don't know, maybe it's weird and it's definitely just in my head, but I think it's because Food is, it's a shared experience, right? We all eat food to survive. It's a necessary thing that we need to live. And now I understand what they live on, you know, what fuel they give and how, how they enjoy their food and, and what they live on. So it's definitely all in my head, but it's an interesting observation that I didn't expect is I definitely feel just a little bit more connected well, there's less of a barrier between me and them. Let's just say that. Okay. Set one. Okay, set two. I really like how, on this exercise how you can get a good stretch across the chest when you come down at the bottom. Said I was not going to do failure, but I was pretty much close to failure. Oh, I always say I'm going to take it easy and then end up forgetting halfway through. But it's all right. Maybe go, maybe just do a few less reps next set. Okay, set three. I've just taken a 10 off each side, so I've just got 60 on the bar now. That's for the last set. Ooh. I've done that so I can get more reps. Okay, decline chest press machine. Really feeling the squeeze on this at the top. Squeeze the muscle out. Oh, 
Uh, one other thing that I think people drastically overlook when it comes to diet is the fact that the foods you eat directly influence just how you think as well. Like obviously, you know, you eat, you eat a lot of sugar, you eat a lot of shitty foods, you're going to have brain fog. But not only that, you like depression, anxiety, ADHD, all these so-called mental health conditions. I think if people switch to a whole foods diet where there's less chemicals and there's just more natural, proper, real foods, people will just feel so much better. Like for example, if I eat a lot of gluten and dairy, I notice that I just generally have a less positive mindset. You know, and it's obviously it's not just diet, it comes down to like circadian rhythm and sleep and light exposure and hydration and grounding and EMF exposure. Obviously all those things play a massive part as well, but diet is one of the first foundation, foundational principles that you wanna get right if you wanna start just feeling better mentally. And as soon as you start feeling better mentally, you have clearer thoughts, you have more energy, you start thinking more positive. Not only are you gonna start going to the gym and actually want to go to the gym because you have more energy, but you're also gonna to want to work harder in your career. Maybe you've got enough energy to start a business on the side, or maybe you already have a business and you've just got more time and energy to put into that. Like, I have the zero cost to living a healthy life, working out, getting in shape, and just eating right. Okay, set two. Okay, set three. Oh, done on there, definitely. Ooh. Peck a deck. It's a standard chest day. Two pressing movements. Now a fly. I really want to get a good stretch on this. All the way back. And keep your shoulder blades pinned back as you squeeze forward and pull your arms together. Ooh. Oh, I need to go a bit lighter on there. Okay, set two. With some of these exercises, especially something like a chest fly or any isolation exercises, you might actually get more out of the exercise if you take the weight a bit lighter and just focus on performing the exercise with better form. Ow. Okay, set three. Ooh. 
Oh, okay, so that is chest. Three exercises for chest. My chest doesn't need any more work today. Oh, thank you. Now I'm just gonna do some lateral raises for delts. Man, I really feel all those carbs from yesterday. So full. Okay, set two. I'm gonna go up to 15 kg. Maybe just for this set. Because I did like a set of 22 reps on the last one, which is maybe a couple more than I'd like. Ah, set three, final set. Ah, done. Definitely. Okay, so that was four exercises, three sets. That's a fast workout. What, 40 minutes, 45 minutes? To me, that's a great workout, great start of the week. Obviously, after yesterday's street food, not feeling 100%, but still came in and got a good workout in regardless. And that's, that's what it's all about. Like you're not always gonna feel 100%. You're not always gonna feel like you're gonna have a gangster workout. But as long as you come in and do something, doing something is always better than doing nothing. All right, guys, it's time for meal one, 2.30. I'm absolutely starving. So today we have Ginger lime chicken stir fry with vermicelli noodles. I've also asked for double veggie portions this week just because I feel like they're quite stingy on the vegetables and I'm trying to fill my stomach up with something which is um, low calorie. So if you find yourself overeating, one option is to try and fill your stomach up with things like vegetables, which take up a lot of volume, but don't contain as many calories. So I'll just get all this on here. Not bothered about making this look aesthetic. It's a stir fry, so it's designed to be all mixed together anyway. 
I have half an egg for some reason. I don't know why they bothered. May as well not had an egg at all. And then the chicken. Wow, oh, feels like a big meal for once. Presumably this is the ginger sauce. So a bit of that. Um, it doesn't really taste of that much. Oh yes, this looks like a good meal. Nice and clean. It's good to get back to the clean meals after yesterday's controversial food choices. Do a little taste test. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Need a bit of lime on there, but I taste the ginger and the chicken and the noodles and the vegetables. It's a good combination. So the macros for this meal, 67 protein, 14 fats, 50 carbs for a total of 559 calories. Pretty good. Okay, so this is, this doesn't look like the photo, but this is fish piccata with mashed potatoes. Looks pretty good. 76 protein, 10 fats, 51 carbs. Let's try this bad boy. Looks like some white fish, dill. Hmm. Whatever sauce is on there, it's a little bit citrusy as well. And this is good. If you've got access to a good uh, meal prep company or service where you are and you've got the budget for it, I'd highly recommend it because this just makes dieting so much easier.